What's going on guys? Xenix back here with another top five and there's a lot of Savitar stuff that happened this episode. This is the episode that you know we've kind of been hoping for and anticipating for the entire season. Savitar finally reveals himself. I'll get into that in a little bit. So starting off with my recap of what happened. So last episode we were made aware of a theoretical physicist named Tracy Brand and what she does is help future flash trap savitar in the speed force forever but the problem is is this is like seven years from now and they can't just take her from the future and bring her back so they located her present self in present day flash and she's actually looking like she's going to drop out of school because of her theories not working out so what ends up happening is she, during the entire episode, doesn't think that she can actually help Team Flash. But we know that from four years from now, she's supposed to figure out a way to manipulate and in turn control the Speed Force and create a Speed Force prison for Savitar. So by the end of the episode, they've been able to get her on Team Flash's side and I'm pretty sure next episode and the episode after that, they're going to start working on it. But the other thing that we haven't really taken into consideration is that we know a, a genius already. His name is Harrison Wells and he's on Earth 2 right now. So why don't you just get both of them, put them in a room and maybe it can go two times faster because before this episode and in season two, Harry from Earth 2 was the guy to talk about for the Speed Force because he knows pretty much anything. And he knew how to manipulate it, he knew how to steal speed from Barry, so they should just go to him. Starting off with number 5. New flash power initiated, Barry flicks his fingers in order to create a spark in front of a blowtorch to ignite the flame, and then a huge burst of fire comes out and it kind of spooks Killer Frost and scares her off and then she has to go try to find Tracy. Using his powers in conjunction with ordinary applications, Barry is able to do some pretty cool stuff and I'm pretty sure over the next few seasons he's just going to have a bunch of stuff that he can do with just ordinary things. On to number 4. Killer Frost goes full on Frozone mode and creates ice pathways throughout the entire city. Frozone is a character from Incredibles and he pretty much was able to create pathways of ice all over the city and be able to go from point A to point B really really quickly. And Barry can't do anything to stop that in terms of him and Killer Frost because if he runs on the ice he's just going to slip and fall, right? So Barry's trying to catch up because she can go diagonally whereas Barry just can't necessarily run through a bunch of buildings because that'll really take a lot out of him because he'll have to phase. So this is her new power and she's already able to master her powers better than Earth 2 Killer Frost. So it's pretty cool how she can do this and she's obviously going to be able to develop her powers more as the season progresses. Number three. This episode was not only Killer Frost's journey in order to develop her powers, but also Sisko's journey to help hone his powers. He's initially hesitant when coming up against Killer Frost twice due to the fact that underneath Killer Frost, it's really just Caitlyn and he's been friends with Caitlyn for a while now. But when they go face to face and go head on in their final battle, he's able to overpower her frost powers with his vibrational waves, which just goes to show you how powerful Sisko can actually be, similar to what his doppelganger told him, how he could be a god, and there's another thing that his doppelganger told him. He told him that he could somehow fracture the nervous system of a speedster. I wonder if that's how they're going to either temporarily hurt Savitar or kill him maybe. Maybe they don't want to trap him in the speed force. Maybe they just kill him outright and Cisco's the guy to do it, but we'll have to see. Number two, Tracy Brand formulates some ideas about Savitar's suit. Since it doesn't seem to have a normal earth metal type feel, she thinks that it's called a strange metal, which means that they don't really know its origin and it's most likely from the future. It has some heat dissipating properties. This could be due to the fact that Savitar is so fast and cannot use a normal friction proof suit like Barry does. He needs something better and more advanced. It could also be due to the color of his lightning as well. 
We know Zoom's lightning was a dark, a darker blue, I would say, and that was because he kept on pumping velocity into himself. Whereas Savitar's is kind of a light blue, which is awfully close to the whitish blue color, which was the color Trajectory's lightning turned before she went into the speed force and essentially dissipated into a million pieces. So this could be a hint to maybe Savitar using V9, the drug, and maybe he does that in the past to try to save Iris in hopes of being faster to then stop himself, which is actually Savitar. So it's kind of timey-wimey. Number one, the moment we've all been waiting for, Barry is in fact Savitar. As he puts it, he is the future Flash. He lived through it all as Barry, but we don't yet understand why he has the intent on killing Iris if even the future Barry, it meant so much to him. And present Barry, he's in love with her, right? He proposed. So it doesn't make any sense why future Barry would try to kill Iris because it's still Barry, right? Or maybe it's Barry from the other timeline and he's trying to exact his revenge because Barry from this timeline created Flashpoint, which then caused his Iris to be killed or something. We don't know. So we're probably going to figure that out next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed my recap and my top five. See you guys next week. Peace.